more than grade seven. Okay, for your computer seven, okay, let's have a review of what we had done on lesson number one. Let me share my screen. Let's take a look at power options, right? Can you see my shared screen now? Yes, yeah. sure. Okay, by the way, do you know how to download, again, um, Google Slides? Do you know how to download this note? Grade seven? No, no. Okay, there is a link there. It's a, an hyperlink, okay? A hyperlink of Google Slides. All you have to do is to click on it. Look at my screen, okay? Once you click on it, okay, it will route you to Google um, PPT, okay? This slide, so this, Actually, you're actually seeing in your screen is that when you click this one, when I click this one, okay, this is the actual screen that you're looking for, okay, or looking at rather. So you just click on file, okay, click on file. Let's wait for the screen to continue or to, to load it up, everything. Okay, click on file and then click download. So you can actually see download there and Microsoft PPT, okay, PPTX. So there you go, you can download this particular file. Remember that this will be your note, okay? This is gonna be your note for this lesson, okay? Let's take a look at sure, power options. Come again, Vishna? Uh, sure, what if you're using like a phone or another gadget? The same, still the same. You just need to click on slides, okay? And it will route you to the Google slide. And click okay. download, okay, file then download. Still the same, Krishna. We still we, we have the same environment with your phone. Right? Do you have any questions so far? No, I'm sure. Okay. No. So let's have power options. Okay. The operating system can be shut down to the power up power button at the start menu. The shutdown option will close the computer. Why do we need to shut down again our computers? What's the use of shutting it down? Anybody? What is the use of shutting down our computers? What is the use of having the shutdown option in our computer. Could anybody answer my question? Huh? You don't know why we need to shut down our computer? Why do we need to shut down our computer? Why? You don't know. We need to shut down on our computer because so yes, Matt. So it can stop the programs and stop the crashes. Yes, you have your point. Boot the system. Stop the program and to stop if there are some crashes. What else? What else? What is the purpose of shutting it down? Remember that when you turn on your computer, you're actually using a processor, your motherboard, your memory, your HDD at the same time if you have SSD, okay? So if you're going to turn it on, these will actually work together, right? After which, if it is actually turned on for several hours, okay, it will hit up. Tendency is, again, there, there will be some crash in your disks, number one. Number two, overheating issues. If, if you don't have a, a proper ventilation in your CPU, or if you're using laptop, there's no proper ventilation in your laptop, it will heat up for overheating issue. It, you can actually have overheating issue. What else? If you, if you are actually transferring your laptops or PCs, Without shutting it down, tendency is it will crash. Okay, your HDD, if you're going, if you're actually using HDD, will tend to crash because the disk there, okay, there is a disk in your HDD or hard disk drive. 
that is continuously moving will hit the pin, okay? Pin or the or the reader in your HDD. So it will create what? A head crush or a bad sector. That is the main reason why we need to shut down our computer to number one, to cool it down, and number two, to prevent head crush or bad sectors in your HDD or hard disk drive. Let's continue. So the shutdown button is in the um, window. If you're going, if you're actually using Windows 10, it's in the lower left corner of your screen. Okay. You just need to, to click on power and the shutdown is there. Right? If there are, are any programs when shutdown is triggered, Windows will prompt the user if he or she indeed wants to switch off the PC without saving the program. Okay, this is one um one healthy habit in order to preserve your computers. Okay, others, as what I, I actually observe, other users, especially students, tend to let their PCs or laptops hibernate, then use it again. Remember, again, that these electronic devices need to rest. They, they need also to cool down, okay, in order to preserve, again, especially the motherboard, the processor, and the RAM, okay, or the random access memory, or the memory, okay? The restart option will shut down the operating system and then switch it on back again. This is mainly used to clear the computer when it hangs or gets an error. So we usually use restart button if, number one, you actually observe that your PC is already hanging up. Okay? If it is hanging up already. Second thing, if you observe that your PC already has a lot of errors, so you need to restart it on. Right? The sleep option will shut down the computer but will save an image or the state of the current session, such as when the computer is open. It will resume the previous programs in their state before it was shut down. By the way, sleep is not shutting down, okay? You are just hibernating your computer. You just let your computer sleep, but it is not totally shut down. So meaning to say that the, the um, motherboard, the processor, the memory, and the HDD or your SSD still is still up. It is still running. So the safest way to preserve your computers and laptop is to keep them shut down, okay? And turn it on if you wanna use it, okay? This is applicable not only in Windows um, operating system, but also in Macintosh or Mac or Apple, okay? So we are done with um, the review, power options. Sure, why did we have this review of the power options? Because again, as what I had observed, a lot of you, a lot of the students, okay, let me put it this way. A lot of the students nowadays tend to put their computers on a sleep mode or they, they usually just hang it over, okay? You, you usually um, just put your um, laptops and PCs on dormant mode without you analyzing it, without you realizing that there are a lot of processes happening in your computers and this will can and this can harm your computer, okay? So, I prepared an activity today for you. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go to your LMS, access the lesson one, exploring MS Windows environment, okay? And go to activity number four, this one, which is the report sheet, okay? For the report sheet, this is now the, the time that um, you'll be analyzing on the concept, okay? Let me reiterate the instruction given here. Instruction given here is in a short size MS Word file. So this is not printed, okay? This is an MS Word file document. Create a report sheet in connection to our topic. Format as follows. This is the format. Font style Arial, font style Arial, font size 12, okay? Margins, 
Okay, we have one inch side to side and from top to bottom. Okay. Line spacing is 1.5. It should be left aligned or left alignment. It should have a left alignment format. Strictly follow the given format. Upload it in your LMS. You need to upload it here. All right? Okay, let's have the question here. Okay, the format itself. Okay, let's have the format. Okay, this is now the format. Okay, this is for strict compliance. I mean to say that you need to comply with this format. Okay, name your name, the date. Okay, grade and section, quarter and module. First quarter, module one or lesson one. Activity number four, exploring the MS, MS Windows environment. Okay, introduction. Under introduction, you need to introduce the topic, the exploring MS Windows environment. What's with the environment? What's with the MS Windows environment? Content. Okay, what's inside the Windows um, MS environment? or MS Windows environment. Problems. What are the problems that may arise in the Windows MS environment? Just like what I had shared, okay? I had shared that there are some problems with the students, okay? Pertaining to some of you didn't actually shut down your computers. That's a problem arising from the concept. Still the same, okay? If you're gonna, if are if you're using your phone, there are a lot of applications that you can actually use with MS Word, okay? You can also use um the MS Word itself or Microsoft Word. It is downloadable in Google Play or Play Store. You can also have the WPS application, or you can also have the Open Office application. There are a lot of applications in the Google Play Store. Okay. Again, the content is based on what you had um, introduced under introduction. Content inside the concept. Okay. Problems are problems arising from the concept or topic. Okay. Conclusion and recommendation. This is your conclusion or recommendation based on the problem or what can be what can we do to solve that particular problem and the problem is based on your content so they are actually connected interconnected all right it is actually um this is worth 50 points under performance tasks right all you have to do is to submit it here okay submit it here in your lms do you have any questions so far Okay, I'll be waiting for your answers until the end of the day, 5 p.m. Still the same. Simply because by next meeting, hopefully, we'll be jumping to the next topic. Our next topic is already here. Okay, if you want to have an have it advanced, it's okay. Okay, you can download it in advance. So it's in here. Lesson number two is general program options. So under discussion, you can actually see your PPT already. So you can download it directly if you want, right? Do you have any questions so far? Okay, let me share my screen. It's in here already. Okay, the next activity, the, the, the next lesson that we have, lesson number two is general program options. It's in here, okay, lesson number two. So under discussion, you can actually see your PPT. So you can download this one if in case you want, right? You want to advance. It's okay, okay? Apparently, I'll be waiting again for your answers until the end of the day, All right? Questions, questions? For anything else? Forever and none, sir. Okay. I think that will for today, class. Thank you for participation. Let me have your attendance. We have Vishna, Matthew, Shamali, Kiali, Rico Marix and Jean. Wait. Um are you sure with this MIA? You don't have sure. a separate device. But sure. You don't have there a separate actually device. four people MIA. Yeah, you're actually sharing one device only, correct? 
uh, make sure that you submit the, the required um, document for the performance tasks. I'll be checking them this afternoon, right? Yes, sir. All right. I think that'll be all for today, class. Thank you for participation, everybody. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.